So we'll just get started then. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, tell me about how um, your family, or just you, I guess, ended up here in Cobb County. I, I was born. So you were born? To be here in Cobb County. Yeah, we've always lived here. Is there a reason that you guys chose to be here? Well, I've lived a lot of other places, but I chose to be here because there's a lot of green space. Um, my family is here, and I love it. Gotcha. Have you always lived here then, or have you lived other no, places? No, I've lived sev quite a few other places. I've lived all throughout the city in Atlanta and lived in San Diego, California. Okay, cool. So how long have you been here in Cobb County then? Like, how many years would you say? At this point in time, I've been here for 18 years. Oh, wow. Do you know, like, approximately around what date that you moved here? It was in May, 18 years ago, because I moved from... Uh, no, it's longer than that. May. Give me a minute. I've, so this time, I've lived here a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it was right before Kendall was born. So it was 20 years ago, 21 years ago. May 21 years ago. Oh, okay. So did you move, like, did you move to Cobb County and move away and then come back? Oh, yes. okay. Okay. Cool. Yes, from okay. California. So then after the second time, you just stayed, like, the whole time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I haven't lived here, like, the whole time either, apparently. Apparently, like, no, I know. <laughs> I was born in Connecticut, and then we kind of just went down the East Coast a little bit, went, like, state by state, like, North Carolina, South Carolina, and then Georgia. See, that's a good way to experience the country. I wish yeah. I had lived a lot more places than I've lived. Yeah. I mean, because I love it here and everything, but I'd like to I like experience to see other more. places, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so then I've been here. I've only been here since middle school, and that's when I met Kendall, probably. Oh. Yeah. I've just, yeah, basically I've known her since I've gotten here. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, but I live, you know, where I just live in, like, a two-story, like, regular standalone house. A very nice house. Thank you. <laughs> very nice house. And I have to ask you, even though I know, could you tell me what kind of home that you live in? I live in a regular subdivision house. Um, it has three levels. It's brick on three sides. Um, finished basement. Pretty normal house. Okay. And um, do you have rooftop solar for your home? I do not. And would you like to tell me about um, your decision about that? Like, what, why you do or why you don't in this case? Well, honestly, it's not necessarily a decision. It's just that that's the way I bought my house. And rooftop solar is not something that's readily available here in Cobb County. You don't see a lot of houses with it on. Um, that's true. I would love, actually, to do it at some point. Have you considered then getting I them installed? I have considered it. It's quite expensive. I don't know a yes. lot about it, but it's very expensive to get it installed. So that's a huge stumbling yeah, block. I understand. Block. That's a large obstacle. So do you feel like the decision to, like, have solar panels was kind of, like, made for yes, you? Absolutely. Because of the house? Okay. And I would have bought my house. I would have I would have bought a house because of the solar panels if it were available. None of the houses I looked at were had solar panels. Gotcha. Do you feel that uh, because of where you live in your, like, the subdivision in this neighborhood, do they, like, support it? Does your, um, the, like, the people who, like, run no the, one, the no, division? No, no. We're very covenant-driven, which is another thing, and I don't like that necessarily about the subdivision, but we're very covenant I think it's okay. fine. We're very covenant driven, so you have your houses have to look a certain way, your yards have to look a certain way, and so in order to get the oh, solar okay. panels installed, you would have to have approval from the HOA. Gotcha. I, and I've never explored that, so I don't know. Do you think that they would be open to it? I think they would be open to it. I think it would be a challenge to get it approved. Yeah, just because like not a lot it of people look have the it. Same way, right? right? They Which want everything shame. to look uniform, kind of thing. Yes. Gotcha. So if you did have the option, do you think you would put rooftop solar on your home? If I could afford to do it. Tell me uh, some other, do you think there are other non-economic reasons that would influence whether or not you put rooftop solar? For me, there would not be. I mean, I would love to have it. I'm, I, would, I, would, I would be very happy Okay, so it. other than like economic reasons. Economics and the subdivision approving it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so... Gotcha. <laughs> uh, tell me more about uh, why you would or would not want it. Well, I mean, I'm very pro anything that I can do to help the planet be more sustainable. Lots of recycling. Um, I think that 
it's, I think that it's a wasted use of energy. I mean, the sun provides us so much energy, and we should definitely take advantage of it. Um, so, I mean, the only reasons not to do it would be economic and subdivision approval. Gotcha. Do you think uh, because of where you live, is this, like, a really good place, you oh, think, to get? Oh, I would think get? it would be great. And I'm shocked more people don't do it. In our whole Cobb County area, I can think of one house that does it. Oh, really? You should tell me who that is, by I the can way. Show, it's right in between our two houses. Oh, really? If you go, um, I've noticed it a couple of times if you go down um, Ackworth Due West. Mm -hmm. It's on the left. Um, way before you get to the bread company and before the church, it's on the left. I mean... Do you know the people who live I there? I don't know oh, okay. the people who live there. Gotcha. But I, think I bet you if they're, if they're committed enough to putting that on their roof, they might be committed enough to talking to you. That's true. That's true. You should put a little note in their mailbox. I would even go with you if you wanted oh, okay. to. okay. Yeah, that would be if, great. So you didn't have to be by yourself. I mean, that would be kind of awkward. Yeah, but, that would be a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah. They're right on the main street. They redid their whole house, and, but am I talking too long? No, no, you're good. I need you to talk longer. Even. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I mean, they something. Uh, there was a fire or there was some issue with their house, and when they rebuilt it, they put the solar panels on top. It is the only house that I know of in Cobb County that has them. So, oh, really? Mm -hmm. And they're in a subdivision. I don't think it's as um, tightly controlled as this one is. This one's a mess. But um, you said there was a fire? I think there was a fire there, or there was some some calamity that caused them to have to redo their house. So they redid it and I guess they were like, oh, might as well put right. solar panels. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, based on what you said, like, you don't see a whole lot of people around here with solar panels and stuff, what do you think about uh, the people's mindset around here uh, in relation to solar panels? I think that people's minds are probably a little bit closed to it, but I think it's not something that is openly discussed. I think that just in, it's a very generic kind of middle class area where people are making a living and getting their kids to school and doing all that so it's not something that's in the forefront of everybody's mind but I do think that the people here are open if if it were if it were better publicized or or something that, that other people did I think they would do it okay okay yeah that makes sense okay so now that we've talked about that for a bit um we're going to do some drawing <laughs> great great so we're going to start out with the map of the u.s and if you would for me just take your time and if you would uh, mark on their areas you think people would have the most solar power on their rooftops oh, that's a good that's good yeah so, just wherever you think that uh, people would have so the where most they've actually, solar energy on their homes. Where they should or where they actually do? Where, where you think they actually would have them. Like, who who currently has oh, them. I would think in California. Well, actually. Here. And feel free to, like, label it, like, with words or anything you feel. Okay. I just feel like there's so much sunlight available in these areas. And Florida? Probably not Alaska, but maybe. Maybe. There's sun in Alaska, too, isn't there? <laughs> um, these are the states I feel like the, the most sunlight is available. But I think that in California, people are more open to environmental measures. And okay. And just have so much sunlight available. So tell me a little bit more about um, your logic behind choosing all these places. Okay, well... In California, people are more open-minded about environmental measures. I've, I lived there for a short period of time, so they oh, really? um, seem to be um, on the leading forefront of technology and um, leading the drive to make sure that they are are providing more sustainable energy sources. Texas, I, I, I honestly, I don't think that they terrible thing to say, but I think that my perception is that in Texas, because it's such an oil-driven economy, okay. that they might not be as open-minded to it, but I think that the availability, the land availability is there. I think it's, and as with all of these states that I circled here in, mm -hmm. in the West, I think the sun is there, it's not rainy, it's not cloudy, and in Florida as well. So I just think it's a huge opportunity. Okay, and your logic for Florida? Well, Florida, because it's sun, it, 
it's sunny so much of the time. It's yeah. be a really stupid opportunity, but um, I think that that would be fine. Gotcha. So, um, what makes um, the communities that you've labeled uh, so different from the people in Cobb County? Really, not much. Honestly, we all have the same supply of sunshine, which I should look at, because but we always think that somebody else is going to do it better or do it more. Um, so really not not much. Uh, what about in terms of the people's mindsets? Mindsets are different. I mean, people here in Cobb County, um, they tend to be much more conservative. And they tend to be not maybe not closed-minded, but just they don't always think outside the box. And I know a lot of people are not, um, like, I know a lot of people who don't think that global warming is a real thing, and I know a lot of people who don't think that recycling is necessary, so I think it's just a closed mindset about sustainability for the planet. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So are you done labeling, like, you don't want to add anything to that? Are you good? I'm good, I think. Okay. It's not much of a very attractive label. I understand. So now we're going to get a little more intensive here. Ooh, okay. We're going to go to a map of Georgia. That is a map of Georgia. Yeah. So if you want to label on there pretty much the same thing that I asked about where the I think US they would map, be. Where you think um, hmm. you, they would have the most um, That's solar energy. That's a really energy. good. That's a really good exercise to think nationally and then come and bring it down to the state level. Mm-hmm. Um, I would definitely think that on the coast, they would be more open-minded to doing that. Do you have statistics to, that show whether that they actually do this? Um, I think we do. I think they've provided it to us. We have a lot of resources. I haven't looked into all of them, but I'm sure we. Would That's have really that. interesting to think about. I mean, okay, we're kind of busy. <laughs> so, um, I would think on the coast. But you know what? Because I have my place up in the mountains, I know that people up in the in this area tend to be more open-minded about um, taking care of the planet a little bit more. In the north of Georgia. North, um, in the northeast, and in the north, the north. Generally. Yeah, I just do like a little because it's more rural, and it's. Um, that's interesting. People depend on the land more and value the land more. Which is kind of opposite of what I said on the other. But it is, I just from the mindset of people that I know, they live and they have more land, they want to take better care of it. Okay, that's interesting. So, I think people in the South probably have a lot of availability like I did, but I don't have any knowledge as to whether they would be. Yeah, I have actually a co-worker who I interviewed with, and he lives in, like, that region. And it's also very rural, apparently. But he says, like, people there, um, there's, like, a lot of land for, like, farming and whatnot, but they don't want to, like, use it for solar because then it takes up their land they could be using for farming. So they're like, we don't want that, I guess. But see, up here they would want it. They want to have solar on their houses, I would think. Because I know people that, I know a lot of people that live up there, and it's just, it's important to them to take care of it. Do you think that would extend uh, from, like, northern Georgia into the state above? Yes. Or oh, absolutely. It? Into North Carolina and Tennessee, it definitely would. Definitely. So tell me about your logic behind the coast, then. The coast, I think they kind of have a similar thing with the mountains. I mean, they have a beautiful, unique area, and they should want to protect it and, and keep it sustainable. So, um, what makes people from those parts of Georgia so different from, like, the people in Cobb County, then? I don't know that they're necessarily different than Cobb County. I think that they're in a different place than Cobb County. They have more, generally have a little bit more land that they want to take care of. Um, They're not in the city. It's rural, so it's, the land is a little bit more important to them. It's not just a house that they live in. It's something that they are a steward of. So, that's what I think. Okay. And, um, so you think these people would have more solar on their rooftops as well? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And so, um, what about, um, some people who are very close to you in Georgia or, like, even in Cobb County, 
like from Cobb County to throughout the state of Georgia, do you know people who have solar on their roofs and why do you think that they do or don't? I am ashamed to say I do not know one person who has solar on their roof. Why do you think that is? I think nobody has solar on their roof and so it's going to take some one person putting solar on their roof to help other people get the ball rolling. Okay, I think it's okay. just something that people don't think about. Or t- and they don't, it's not important to them. It's not an issue that's discussed. I mean, it's no one ever talks about it or thinks about it. Do you think there's a reason for that? Like, is there something to do with their mindset that they wouldn't necessarily have I think that come that, to mind? No, I, I just think that more people need to be talking about it. It needs to be... Like, like starting like, awareness? Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- no, they're not aware of it. Exactly. Yeah. So, we have actually reached most of the questions here, but I'd like to talk a little bit more about um, your history with, you seem to be pretty open to having solar on your rooftop, so if you want to elaborate on... Is a solar rooftop company going to be contacting me? No, they won't. (laughs) (laughs) This is, we're just wanting to see your thoughts and opinions and why people, trying to figure out why people do or don't like what's going through their mind kind of thing yes so like you talked a little bit about being in other states and stuff and your experience like with how people's perceptions are different and things like that so do you have any more things to elaborate with that like I do think that people would be better served here to be more aware of it and to see more solar in the area I think the people who the one person that I've seen driving by if they would get involved in the community a little bit more and maybe just help raise the awareness. Because people just, I, no one ever thinks about it. It's not important. It's just no one ever thinks about it. That's kind of like recycling. You know, five years ago, nobody recycled. Now, hopefully everybody does. I think it's kind of Georgia. I don't know. Georgia's mindset just doesn't seem to be yeah. all there. But you know what? I mean, it would take like one sub... If, our, if someone on our HOA board was... Um, supportive of the solar panels they might have the ability to go in and and talk to the board and maybe offer decreases in the the dues and that kind of thing to kind of promote promote it's just going to take individual people within their subdivisions and communities to talk about it so do you think it's not precisely that like people don't care it's just no they're just not aware kind of thing absolutely okay that's interesting so um What was so different? Like, did you feel very different with your experiences and, like, how you lived in different places and, like, people acted differently there? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like, in California, people are so much more aware, um, for example, the water. Because there's that water shortages are such a big deal out there. I mean, how how you use water is completely different out there than how you use water here. I mean, and it's... it's, um, kind of the same thing you just have to kind of drive the need has to come so that people can see the benefit of of making a change in how they do their everyday business yes so (laughs) if you um, have anything that you think of that you would like to add that has to do even within like the scope of just environmental other issues that you think it's amazing to I am amazed at the number of people who still don't recycle. And it seems like such a basic issue to me. Businesses don't recycle. And, and part of it, it takes one person and any group of people to say, hey, let's start doing this. And it makes a change. So, in, mostly nuts. We're, we care about dogs. We care about all that. But we were throwing away plastic water bottles and paper and all this kind of stuff. And so, it takes just one person to say, let's not do that anymore. And everybody's jumped right on board and they're very proud of it. So if somebody makes says, let's don't. This is not good to do this. You're wasting oil or you're wasting energy. Then generally people want to do the right thing if you give them the opportunity. That's true. But do you feel like, I don't know. At least uh, I talked to another girl yesterday, and we were saying how um, people seem to do what's convenient. Oh, they absolutely. You have to make it. I mean, I had to buy the new, the, like, for my, I had to buy the recycling and all of that. You have to make it easy for people to do. Solar inter- and the, the solar piece seems like a huge big deal to me. It seems like really expensive, prohibitively expensive, and then it's not cool to have those big panels on your house at at this point in time. So people have got to really kind of 
change the perception of what that means and what the benefit of it is. That's interesting that you said it wasn't cool. Can you explain what you mean by yes, that? I can. Nobody, I mean, it's so, some, right now, at least in the group of people that I know, it seems like the oddball person that would do that. Do you know what I mean? It would be like a normal right in the mail person would be just the odd man out that t- cares about enough about the environment to put the solar panels on their roof. Because honestly, I don't think people, I don't think that people not, don't care enough, but they don't realize what is the benefit, not just to themselves, but the greater good right. of doing it. So they would see that person, the oddball person, as different or in an unappealing light? Yes. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's Not unfortunate. Me, I know, yeah. it's very unfortunate. <laughs> it, but, but it's just one of those things that here, but we don't realize, I mean, that what what is the benefit of solar? People need to understand what what is that going to do for, for me and my family and for my neighborhood and for my community and the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, and so on. Can you think of any um, non-economic barriers that would that you think would stop other people in this county from wanting it or that would even stop you from wanting it? The only thing that was non-economic, it would be people, ease of, of getting it done and then the subdivision allowing me to do it. Okay. Because I just, I read a little bit today and it was saying like, oh, you got to do like maintenance, you got to like keep them clean because if you don't keep them clean. Oh, well, Lord, you can forget about it if I have to keep them clean. <laughs> I mean, but, but then you know what? That opens up an opportunity for an enterprising person to come and say, you know what? I'll clean your solar panels for you. That's true. I guess it would open up some kind of opportunity right. that way for if other people, people. Right. It absolutely would. There's always, a, if somebody's willing to put something out there, somebody's willing to clean it, you know, for so that's it, it, there's a benefit there for that that's true yeah so just like open up like job opportunities even that could be like a whole other right. like market man uh, but yeah let's see what we have oh, I love it. five more minutes okay great. if you can think of anything else that you'd like to add well no the people that have done it um, that I've seen I mean they're they they seem to be much smaller than like in the pa- in my mindset like what I used to think of as solar is these huge, giant, mm-hmm. ridiculously large things. And the people that have it on their house, it's kind of smaller. I mean, it's actually very attractive. They almost look like skylights now. Yeah, they do. It's very, it's actually kind of pretty, at least to me. I, I, I kind of, so I too. like the look of it. You think um, if they were to continue innovating them and maybe the price would drop, there wouldn't be other barriers that would stop people? Oh, here? yeah, I think so. I think people just need to start realizing what is the benefit. And why do we need it? I mean, do we really need solar panels on the, our houses? Are we really depleting our other energy sources? It's cleaner energy. I mean, what are people need to know what the benefit of it is. Right. And to you, what do you think all the benefits are? I think it's cleaner energy. I mean, I think it's something that's readily available. We're not digging holes in the planet. We're not fracking. We're not doing all of those other things that are requiring us to... That just are so negative and so detrimental to the planet. It's good for the planet. And... I'm pro planet. I'm pro Earth. Me too. Pro yeah. Earth. <laughs> I'm a human from Earth. That's how I identify, you know. So yeah. I somehow never established that you are a homeowner. Oh, I am a homeowner. You are a homeowner. Thank you for <laughs> yes, I am. That is important. I've lived in this particular home for fifteen years. Wow. And it's a just a regular standalone home, yes. Yes, in a subdivision. <laughs> a planned unit development. Was Next there to any my sister and her two adorable <laughs> oh, children? Yes. And you do live you live in that house like by yourself, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. With just, many animals. With many animals. Yes. That's right. So was there any like particular like draw to Cobb County that you really liked being here? Or is there like a reason that you like still Cobb live here? Cobb County is a really places? great place to be. I mean, there's a lot of green space. There's a lot to do. Um, I mean, my family lives here. And mostly Mutz is here where I volunteer and, and spend a lot of time. So, and it's um, not outrageously expensive. So I love it here. 
Come. There's a good bit of things to do still. There's the lovely Kennesaw Mountain. I love the Kennesaw Mountain. I do a lot of hiking and walking, so that's important. Do they have solar panels there? I think they do. Do they? Somewhere. I thought I saw one or two. Maybe not like on the mountain itself, but like in a parking lot or something. I thought I saw a solar panel or two. Oh, I don't remember seeing it. I would, have, I, I would have noticed, I think. I don't know. They're not very big, I don't think. I think they're pretty small. Where but. do they have solar? I mean, where is solar here? In, in I, County? Not a lot, honestly. Do you, I mean... I asked around a lot of people, and uh, Kara knows, like, one person. She doesn't even know them directly. She knows them, like, a friend of a friend kind of thing. So I'm hopefully going to get the contact from her about that. I mean, it's sort of sad, though. What do you think the biggest benefit of solar is? Definitely that it's sustainable energy and that we can, there's nothing stopping us from using that. After you install it, there's no, like, uh, real inhib- inhibition to, like, having it. It's just, like, I'm getting free energy now and it pays itself off, especially mm-hmm. if you've lived in a house for, or if you're planning to live in a house for a long time, then it's like, oh, this is going to pay for itself. Do you think that the energy companies are also, they're not supporting, I mean, they're not, they're definitely not saying, hey, you guys can get, like, I mean. They don't seem that keen on it in Georgia, per se. No, they definitely don't. So do you feel like they're, um, they're not, like, making very much incentive here for you to get them? there's no incentive. There is zero incentive that I'm aware of. Yeah. It's really weird because I think other, in other places, they do make it an incentive Especially maybe, like, overseas or something like, like that. Like, tax incentives? Yeah, tax incentive, like, things, like, benefiting you from having them, like, oh, yes, I have this, and so the government's going to, like, give you something, like, tax breaks or, like... I don't think our current government, too, is very pro-environment, so I don't see that happening. Why do you say that? Was there anything in particular you are thinking when you made that statement? Well, I just don't think that... President Trump does not seem to be on the forefront of championing environmental issues. That is very true. <laughs> That's as nicely as I can say. <laughs> well, you don't have to say it nicely if you don't want. Okay. We want no, to just, know your opinion. No, I just I think that I think that we are unfortunately headed in a direction where we are headed away from taking caring about clean, sustainable energy and going into a direction where it's more about profit and power with these statements just like going off of these statements would you call yourself more on the liberal side or you know what I've stopped saying I'm a Republican or a Democrat I really have I just want to be a, an earthling a person from an Earth. earthling yes because I just it's way. terrible yes. I'm very upset about nobody I mean, but I really am unhappy about all of the partisan fighting and all, I mean it's we need to it, like the kids getting separate. We just need to be people, humans, peaceful humans, peaceful humans from Earth. That would be great. That's my goal. That's how I. That's who I am. Yes, me too. Good. <laughs>